got the all clear, so I'm going to go ahead. Um, so I'm going to be reading um, a short story, which is um, forthcoming publication in um, Extra Teeth magazine issue two, which is out on the 27th of this month. Um, and you can pre-order it and I'm sure the link for that will be sent around. So um, this is my strange short story called Lure. They had both been born in the yawning blackness of the city. She was always singled out by the circumstances of her birth, a glut of mindless indulgences, where everything was as simple as holding out a glass and having it filled. He, on the other hand, had slid out into this world, scrappy, restless, and perpetually hungry. Her days were always bookended with rich meals. His were filled with staving off his most basic desires. She glided along through her life, swallowing men whole and absorbing whatever she wanted. He was frantically searching for his purpose, for that someone who could fill the void. They finally met on a beautiful autumn evening when he clapped eyes on her like a light in the distance her every breath pulsing through her as though she were bioluminescent. The music was distant to him, a creature's moaning reverberating through the ocean. He couldn't resist the trail she had left him and he moved towards her silently. Trying to sense if she had noticed him. She was close now and she wasn't moving away. She glittered in her evening gown, the tendrils of her headdress floating and reaching towards him. Her eyes were dark and bulbous and unseeing, but a sparkling lure drew him closer. Her mouth was a large and cavernous beauty, full of serrated blades, and she could swallow him whole without even knowing she had done it. She was eating caviar and he watched in fascination as she popped each morsel into her mouth with a delighted smile. She curved her spine slowly and a glint emanated from her ring as it caught the light. They swam around each other in conversation all night and he admired the coils of her arms and the glow on her as she rippled and danced. The smell of her as she moved was wild, the hunger inside him unbearable. He had only known craving, but now he had finally found her. He was surprised when she asked him to come home with her, but relieved that she wouldn't have to see his shabby apartment. He felt nervous on the drive home and couldn't punctuate the silence. She rested her hand on his thigh and he thought he might die before they got there. When they arrived, she asked if he was hungry and said that somebody would fix him a snack that he wanted to get upstairs as quickly as possible. Only she could break this gnawing inside him. She led him into the bedroom and sat down on the bed, patting it gently to indicate that he should join her. He perched there and focused on the side of her face as they grew closer. They were practically touching. She leant forward and kissed him and pushed him back onto the bed. They quickly slipped into their skin and he explored every part of her, from the translucent webbing of her fingers to the gills that blew hot air onto his face. She told him that she was ready and he lunged forward and opened his mouth, biting down hard on her side. His jaw was working hard to keep them together. She wasn't struggling, but she was becoming swollen and vast and he couldn't keep purchase on her. He felt the enzymes flowing rapidly from his body into hers, and soon his skin was disintegrating. Soon there was a smooth passage between them. His bones melted inside his skin, his internal organs dissolved. He was fused with her. Her blood pulsed through his body, and he looked at her one last time before his eyes deliquesced and became part of her. As she filled him up with blood and oxygen and nutrients, he released his sperm into her. He could feel them swimming inside her, inside him, and he was startled at how quickly he was forgetting what it had felt like before they were one. 
For the first time in his life, he would never be hungry and she would feed him until the day she died. She got up from her bed and examined herself in the mirror. She fixed her makeup and crept her fingers down her body, tracing each line and curve. She stopped occasionally and tenderly massaged a bump. She had gone to the trouble of having the skin by each one tattooed so she could reminisce about the order in which she had acquired her lovers. She had a new one now, just below on the left side of her hip, a beautiful new donor. She wondered fleetingly if he would prove stronger than the others and whether he would be the father of her next child. They could fight it out. It didn't matter to her. Any of them would get the job done. She examined her lover lumps and looked them over like rings in a jewelry box. She would pluck each one out in their turn to adorn her for the next night out. Thank you. Thank you so much, Even. That was amazing. Um, yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> so thank you so much for, for that tale. Um, so we have um, basically arranged it so that there's a five minute slot after each story. Um, so if you would like to ask questions, this is going to be the time to ask questions. <laughs> 